Hey guys, this is Maniac, aka the Tinker Dad, and today I'm doing just a quick review about this uh, tiny little development board. And namely, this is an old MCU uh, from uh, Geekrate, and I ordered it from China uh, from a company called Banggood. Many of you might be familiar with that company already. Um, so before I'm going into the details about this board, I will just show the packaging because many people I know are concerned about how stuff they order from China, especially sensitive stuff like electronics, will arrive. Uh, will it be in good condition or will it be totally destroyed uh, during the shipment and so on. So first of all, let's see the packaging. So on the outside, that was this uh, cheap uh, plastic bag. This is like a trash bag or something like that, possibly made from reused materials. Uh, nothing fancy here, it's just uh, to protect the contents from uh, dust and, I don't know, minor damages. On the outside, uh, this is pretty standard for Banggood. So far, every package I ordered from them uh, was covered with such a bag. Now inside that bag, uh, they use this uh, thick foam stuff, multiple layers of it. Uh, depending on the size of what you have ordered. Um, anyway, the point is they use plenty of it uh, to protect what's inside. So in that case, inside of this was another uh, plastic bag uh, containing five of these packages and some other stuff because I ordered five of these in the boards. And yeah, they arrived in pretty good condition. I mean, no harm done to any of them, not even a scratch or something like that. I already opened this up because uh, I've uh, tried all the boards. They are working, by the way. So kudos to Banggood, I guess. And now let's see the board itself. So um, it has pins. These are GPIO pins and poor and they can provide you with ground and power and so on. Uh, those are familiar with um, small projects like anything that is Arduino based are familiar how these pins usually work. So nothing fancy here. On the bottom of the board you can see the Greek Crate logo, uh, you can see uh, this uh, marking. So this is ESP12F uh, or uh, and uh, by called its uh, other name uh, ESP8266. This is a quite a common board for um, hobby electronic enthusiasts. Uh, you can program it from Arduino IDE uh, quite easily. You can uh, hook it up uh, using these GPIO ports uh, with sensors, for example. I use it uh, for use them actually. Um, as I said, there were five of these uh, together with uh, humidity and temperature sensors uh, throughout my house and they work fine quite well. So this is a Wi-Fi uh, wi based board and you can program it via this micro USB uh, connector. You can just hook it up to your PC with a simple micro USB, USB cable like you use with your phone and by downloading the free Arduino ID you can program it basically whatever you want. Uh, this is a generic chip so you can do pretty much everything with it. Uh, control Christmas lights or whatever you need. And um, the Arduino ID and the libraries uh, developed for this chip uh, provide you with a handy set of tools like uh, running a small web server on it like um, for for providing a web interface to access the chip for configuration for example or you can as i said this is a wi-fi based chip so you can obviously connect it to your home network once you have programmed it uh, you can use it uh, running from from like a phone charger because um, it has very very small uh, energy requirements. It, you can use it with an older phone charger. Okay, so that's about uh, this board. Uh, I will do another video probably uh, to show how does it work, how you can program it uh, really quickly, just to show a small example project. And 
I will post it when it's done. Okay, so I guess it, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video and have fun with your board in case you order one of these.